For this structure, we have HCO2H. So we have one, right? Because hydrogen is in group one. Uh, therefore, the valence electrons will be one, and you write that down. Carbon is in group four, so four valence electrons. Oxygen is in group six, so we write down six. Since it has a subscript of two, we multiply by two, and then hydrogen is one. So total will be 18. Now, you take um, all this, and then you try to find a compound that will have zero formal charge and will also have 18 electrons. So the final structure will look like this, and it succeeds in both of those goals. It has zero formal charge and also has 18 electrons. Now let's look closer at formal charge. So for formal charge, it will be zero for all of these. And for example, for carbon, right, for formal charge, you'll count the number of bonds. So one, two, three, four. Four minus the group number of carbon, which is four. Four minus four is zero. For oxygen, this oxygen right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So six minus the group number of oxygen, which is six. Six minus six is zero. And finally, over here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six minus six is also zero. So zero formal charge for all these uh, elements. Now moving on to hybridization. For the first carbon, for the first carbon, we have three domains, one, two, three, three domains, and you want the exponents to add to the number of domains. Now remember that there's a one right here, right? So one plus two is three, and three equals the number of domains, so therefore, this carbon will be sp2. Now for this oxygen, right, we, have, we also have three domains, one, two, three, three domains, s1, one plus two is three, and three domains, therefore, this oxygen will be sp2. Now for this oxygen, we have one, two, three, four, four domains, so one plus three is four, so this oxygen will actually be sp3. I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.